Hello, hello, I am Zarkoon, and this is World of Warships Legends. Merry Christmas, Birdman, Dewan, Brawl Stars. It's an interesting name. Miles. Torch. Randy. Hello. Yes, Brutus says hello. He's sitting on my lap under a blanket. He, really, he's sleeping, or he's going to sleep. He's a tired boy. What are we going to play to begin with today? You got Kirasame and Collingwood. Collingwood is uh, not my favorite thing in the world. Kirasame is pretty good. Hmm. I wonder if this will work. I'm going to try something here. Leftover duplicate cards, probably nothing. I'm going to try an experiment here with a chatbot. I have no idea if this is going to work, but let's uh let's just uh see. Uh okay. T make a test here. I'm I'm integrating a chatbot into the stream. I want to see what it will do. Okay. All right. All right. You see Nightbot in there says Podge has won the giveaway. There is no actual giveaway at the moment. I am just testing out a Nightbot to see to see if I can do a giveaway. I've got codes to give away. Uh well, I was just doing a test, but maybe you can have a code. All right. <laughs> So that, that'll hopefully work. We'll be doing a giveaway. I don't know if I'm going to do a giveaway of these codes today. I don't know if I'm going to stream tomorrow or Sunday and do it then when it's closer to Christmas. Haven't decided yet. feel like playing a couple of games to begin with. I always play solo in my streams. To be honest with you, ever since I set up the... Sex bot. Pro oh my god, I forgot about those things. We haven't seen those in months. We haven't seen those in months. Teams are extra bad today. Extra bad. Are they not usually extra bad? Oh no. Oh no. We've got a, a quota. We've got the quota of Z44s met. There's always a quota. One versus one. Are they doing one of those 1v1 brawls again? Wait, there's only two battleships in this match. There's a key over there and I'm I'm over here. So we're going to go not toward the key. Does the Suzuya awake? Good morning. Hello? Anybody at the helm? Oh, Jesus, now he wakes up. Battle stations when the timer starts, Suzuya. Otherwise, you get collisions. It's bad for the boat insurance. Now this guy's going to have to make a claim and his premium's going to go up. All because he was not at the wheel. Oh, I should have the HE loaded for that thing. Okay, we don't want to... Really? 
What is he doing? Reversing? Of course. Is he shooting at the Summers? Everybody's shooting at the Summers. Oh, come on. Kill the Fletcher so the Summers doesn't die. Oh, he's torping the Summers. Oh, no. Oh, no, and we missed. We don't even get to trade. He just gets to torp the... Oh, we got a Kutuzov whale out there. He gets to torp the Summers, and we're down a DD. Who is saying that uh, the teams are especially bad today? I think we've seen some evidence. Fortunate Fletcher. HE probably is not the way to go. 2,000 damage. Where's that Palmer, though? He's not gonna... Not gonna shoot the broadside? Well, and also, we've got just no vision of anything now. Oh, there he is. There he is, that... Beautiful specimen of German engineering. Oh, okay. Fletcher Torps. They're a concern for me. I'm extremely concerned about them. But the Fletcher is still, what, hiding in his smoke screen, I guess? So that's, uh, interesting. You want me to show the Ohio build with Azur Lane, New Jersey? Yeah, I'll, I'll try and remember to do that. All right. Kutuzov whale. You get to you get to go back to port. No, we miss. Kutuzov whale does not go back to port. Pomeran is still burning. What's that? Kutuzov HE. Not a problem for HMS Duncan. Hmm. Z44, no serious threat, of course. Uh, and the Fletcher still has no line of sight on us. Very interesting. Oh my god. Our team has taken the lead. I have done nothing. Our team has taken the lead. I've not contributed to that in any way. Our Fletcher is toast. Uh, but the other DDs have taken the caps. And yeah. Alright. Sure. I'll just, I'll just accept it. Remarkably healthy Suzuya even for chasing and or being chased and shot at by this Palmer. Uh, I don't really want to keep reversing, though. I just want these guns on target. Eh, you never know. He does not shoot it at me. Except for his secondaries. Is that, uh, is that one torp? Uh... Oh, shut up, Nightbot. I'm gonna have to fix that. I have to adjust the spam filters. Oh, come on, really? He dodges that? That one single torpedo? He's probably trying to torp me. It's what all these German boys do. Die. Oh. Well. Result achieved.
Communism, not really. I'm try I was trying to use uh, Nightbot in order to do the code giveaways so I don't have to do the Aaron method where I'm like, hey, guess a number. And then I've got to look through the chat to figure out who the hell the winner is. That's too much effort. So I um, am trying to figure out how to work Nightbot, and this is kind of like a little pilot test, but apparently it wants to filter out what it thinks is spam. So I'm going to have to look into that dashboard, I assume. It's timed people out? It's timed out Randy and Darkwing. Okay, how do we fix that? We don't want... No, 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 no. Disable, disable, disable. Disable, disable. Disable. There we go. Disable all the communist spam filters. There we go. This is no longer the Soviet Union. This is fucking America. We'll have free speech. We won't have censoring by Nightbot. Oh, no. And we will shoot H.E. at the buffalo. Wow, though. Wow. Done exactly zero damage in this game with the uh, lovely HMS Duncan. I think that buffalo is... Oh, he's not dead. Well, he is now. Do we get one kill? Or did I not lead that enough? Hmm. Yeah, sorry for a Nightbot being a fucking Stalin. Oh, God. Look, I suck. Only the Summers did worse. All right. Somebody asked, what is... What do, What was I doing with Azard Lane, New Jersey on the Ohio? This. I got uh, Kondo and Arthas, and I got all these skills. Oh, good bump. AL New Jersey up to... What does that even give me? Nah. But yeah, that's the uh, Azure Lane, New Jersey build. 7.7 km concealment on Toulon. I'm pronouncing that right. Well, I guess we could play it. Just gonna boost it up, though, of course. Don't have any reason to save this global XP now that I've got Stalingrad. There's... whoops. There's no sense in, um... No sense in playing with an unupgraded cruiser, I'd say. We probably want aiming systems. All right, so we'll do that. We'll say, uh, we'll say Lemonnier. And uh, what's the concealment? 9.4, go all out. We need go all out to get it down to those kind of crazy levels, don't we? So that's gonna have to be Azerlane San Louis, and we need go all out. Okay, then we've got Mikawa. Do I switch uh, Mimbelli for Swirsky? Or is, well, we gotta put on a, a camo, of course. Uh, might as well use the historical camo, why not? Just, uh, nope, nope, nope. That's not what I wanted to do. Melt these to paint. Got 50 bajillion of them, so. Okay. There we go. No, put that on. All right. Oh, that looks nice. That's a nice looking camo, I would say. Very nice, very nice, okay. But anyway, I still assume this is... Oh, it's 8.9 km. Excellent. Flag. Jesus Christ, all the division spam. All right. Duck flag. Very good, very good. I could rank up 
go all out one more, I suppose. I mean, it takes forever to get these commendations. I don't know if I actually want to do that, but... Eh, why not? Fuck it. We'll get more commendations eventually. We'll pop a speed flag on there. That ought to be good. What's the story on this thing anyway? I have not played it. Oh, that's interesting armor scheme though, isn't it? 30? Hmm. Whoa. Oh, a shitty turtle back. 25 millimeter slopes. Hmm. Well, this ought to be interesting. <laughs> yes, Henri is almost done. I'm actually surprised it's not finished yet. I have to look at the progress there. I don't think I have it in the port yet. Do I? Even if I do, am I rich in... Oh, Scandinavia! This is the second time I've seen this map. It's not in the rotation. Hello, Ryan. Yes, Henri. No, the oil from the fleets is for upgrading the bonuses. This thing has two quad turrets on the front and... Oh, those are secondaries on the back. Right, right. So it's got eight guns on the front. Hmm. Well, I guess, I don't know, we'll go over here. Yeah, I guess we'll go over this way. I got three engine boost. We shall use one soon. 8.9 km concealment will go down to, I don't know, be interesting to see. I did not put on Swirsky, I probably should have. For max concealment. Still, it should be ridiculous even without Swirsky, I'm sure. What's that? Oh, no you don't. You don't need any intelligence data. You're smart enough on your own, I'm sure. Right? I'm gonna let, uh, are you, you can go in front of me. Yeah, just keep on going, you'll be fine. You're in New Orleans. A naked New Orleans, though, that's not good. Naked New Orleans is, uh, probably bad. Oh, there's a rock there. Oh, Baltimore. All right, what does this concealment do? Eight, eight, exactly. We'll wait here for a second. Baltimore does not want to give broadside though, so I guess we will not hold our fire. Probably have to switch to the HE on this one. AP won't really do anything, but at least he's not shooting back. This is probably a waste of the engine boost, honestly. I don't need this concealment right now, but there's three charges and they take forever to cool down, so. That's pitiful. Oh, 
What happened to the New Orleans? Oh, he's over there. I wonder if there will be torpedoes coming in. Wow. Maybe we need to just get closer. Might as well. The battleship's attracting all the love and attention. Turret traverse is uh, not great. Neither is this accuracy or I just suck at aiming. You want to get in on the action, smoked up cruiser? Just kidding, you can't. Because I'm so stealthy. Yeah, well, at least teammates have taken the other side. Wow, this, uh, this thing... This thing is not impressive so far. It's doing zero damage to a reversing bow in Baltimore. I wonder where this DD is. I don't know, but I assume I'm next for being targeted. I don't know what's in this smoke screen, but I guess we'll probably find out. Okay, well, now we're next. Do we go dark once the firing penalty wears off? Battleship shooting at me, don't like that. Well, that's a lot of HP to lose. Sorry for the sniffles. Well, I think I'm gonna die now. What the fuck? Might have to do this on the Sherborg. Is the Baltimore gonna get my broadside here? Yeah, wow, this uh, fire is fun. Will you stop it? Will you die? No. Well, this is uh, an experience. I was wondering what that was. Can I kill that, maybe? Probably not. Nope. Well, either I'm trash or this ship is. Could be either one. Still alive? What? All right. Oh, wait. Now we've been proxy spotted. Baltimore's gonna kill us. My turrets don't turn quick enough. Hmm. Okay, so that sucked. That sucked. Could it be both? It, it could be both. It could be both that the ship sucks and I do, too. Very possible. Well, all right. So we'll try this uh, Azerlane San Luis scheme on the Cherbourg, I suppose. But we will do the thing where we replace Mimbelli for the Polish guy. There we go. Swirsky. Nine point four. Uh, how long to the Henri? Good question. A little while, it looks like. Might as well boost it a little bit. 
Not today, apparently. Speed. Ships perform best when throwing caution to the wind. I'm just a cautious person. Hello, Clay. Oh, my God. There's no DDs. It's okay, though. I'm probably the stealthiest cruiser in this game, then, with Go All Out. I guess we'll go toward C. I am the DD. The torpedoless DD. There is no div. There's just me. Well, we got the proper camo on. Whoa, whoa, get back, get back. Why are they telling him to get back? Is he abandoning his flank? Yep. Well, no surprise there. That's fine, though. We got uh, that guy going in. Oh, wow, nobody wants to go to sea. Okay. Nobody except Suzuya. They didn't all read the loading screen, I guess. It says rushing to the the center of the map is a poor tactic, but that's what they're doing. Do I want to shoot at the Chapayev yet? I kind of want to wait for a better angle than that. Well, okay. Hippa. What does the concealment become when I hit the engine boost? 8.4, that's ridiculous. Oh, okay, I was gonna say, we don't even get spotted. Well, that is certainly a lot of shells. Hipper, you bastard. Going behind that island. Anchorage. Anchorage is a likely candidate, right? Maybe I should use the reload boost. Maybe I'll wait for Hipper, though. Anchorage is a likely candidate. Guns? Can you not disperse like cracked out little... I don't even know. Terrible though. Absolutely unacceptable. All right. Well, the Suzuya looks not good. HE on Hipper. Suppose these AP shells are just gonna overpen the thing. Turtle back.
Shapayev, I know you're out there. There you are. Uh, is Hipper about to spot me, though? I don't know if I can even take this cap. Oh, Lord, it's Karen. She's going to want to speak to the manager. It's fucking Karen Jones, man. Sherboard Karen. I want to speak to the manager of the gun turrets here because the dispersion is just unacceptable. So stealthy. Well, now I'll wait for the turrets to turn here. Yeah, this is what happens with two teams positioning when there's no DDs. I guess I'm the DD, but... Well, we've lost our super conceal. Hmm. The Sherborg uh, does not stand up well to punishment whilst pushing in, I suppose. All right, turn the ship and turn the turrets. We'll push in toward the Sherborg. We'll go be the manager, I guess, and talk to Karen. Heinrich is trying to be the manager. All right, this might work out pretty good. Or it might be terrible. But I think I'm going to full send it. Away with you, Hipper. Shaborg does not have the torps. Anchorage does. Anchorage does not scare me that much, though. Oh no, we've been sonared by what, the Hipper? Well, that is annoying. It certainly eliminates the element of surprise. That, oh my god. Well, I was going to shoot Chappie, but... I think we're probably good as far as torpedo threats go. Stop lighting me on fire, you sons of bitches. All right. So, incoming torps, courtesy of Encourage... Probably. Uh, okay. Well, at least, uh, at least Hipper is about to die. We can go after Chapayev. Maybe there are no torps coming. Uh, okay. Hipper, I don't know if he's expecting this or not. Uh, there's a thing behind the island? Don't like that. Don't like that. It's a battleship, probably. Oh, Chapayev, hello, hello there. Hello, Chapayev. Reload the fucking guns. Wow, that is shit. Oh no, AL New Jersey. Um, oh no, Chapayev Torps. Uh, you don't expect those things at four. Oh my god, he doesn't even shoot at me. This is wonderful. There's battleships behind me though. Which is not wonderful. I don't know if they can actually shoot. Can the Sherborg do the Citadel? Can it do the Citadel of New Jersey from three kilometers out? Can it? 
come on. Surely, surely if we aim right there. 12k, no citadel. Well, that's fucked. That's certainly fucked. Come on. Surely these French guns can citadel an American BB. Maybe if I aim more toward the center? No. Come on. You French baguettes. Why can we not citadel a battleship that is three and a half kilometers away from our face? You would think. You would think that guns of this size would be able to do it. You would be wrong if you thought that. I cannot believe I've gotten away so scot-free in terms of HP. Um... Hello. Hello there. Uh... Can I actually make this shot? Kind of. Try that again. Uh, he just shot. I wonder if uh, Chappy Torps, though. Yeah, Chappy Torps. I see what he's trying to do. A little hoe. Yeah, yeah. All right. Ah, uh, two ricochets. Two ricochets. I would push out if not for this torpedo threat. What are you guys? What, what are you? Massachusetts. All right, surely the torps are coming, right? Maybe he... No, will he launch them at me or the Massachusetts? Wish I had sonar. Well, there goes AL New Jersey. All right, all right. No torpedoes forthcoming. The time to push is nigh. Those battleships are at full health. My entire team's over here in this corner of the map. Oh my god. Okay, well... Okay, thank god. Eight ricochets. What is the point of this thing? He's going to turn and try to get the torps off on the other side now. Is it going to work? Can we pen it through the butt? No, still eight ricochets. Six ricochets. Maybe I ought to switch to the HE? No, does he want to open up the angle a little bit? Come on. How are you still alive, broadside like that to a Massachusetts, anyway? Okay, just aim higher into the superstructure and it'll be fine, right? That's how, that's how you play this game. Fucking armor angling. Wow, I cannot believe we've won this. At least I it, it seems like we have anyway. Hold off on turning this corner for a second. What is a Rook going to do? Oh. Oh. Sure, yeah. You get good damage into the superstructure of the British battle cruiser. I mean, I guess might as well just go for it. 
At this point, this man is, uh, oh, he is going to look at me. Don't do it. Oh, there's only 30 seconds left to go. Shit, if I die, do we lose? Oh, he, he dies. We're fine. Fine. It's all fine here. Good thing. I don't know if we would have lost if I, uh, if I, uh, died. Points is very close. Well, that was fun. I don't really know that go all out, like, made or br I don't know if that was make or break for this match, but, you know. It was not bad, certainly. Yeah, that was all right. Hmm. Toulon apparently sucks, though. Enough of these French cruisers, though. I've had enough of these for the moment. So, go to something else, something fun. G.J. Merker. G.J. Merker. That is a fun ship now. A fun, fun boat. It's hard to throw caution to the wind. It just is. It's difficult. What's the best commander for ZF6? Um, Eric Bai. Call J.G. Wentworth. 877 cash now. That seems pretty good. Bay with the uh, with the spicy AP man and Sims. Yes. I think I've got uh I think I've got Bay with, um, who the hell do I have? I think I've got Gurin, actually. I think I've got Bay with Gurin as one inspiration, and then um, Rumble as the other, which I find Rumble kind of necessary for the Elbing in particular. Uh, but for these, maybe it's a little bit of overkill. I mean, we have... 14.6 kilometers of main battery range. Might be a little overkill, but uh, I like it. Von Essen and Pan-Asian boy. I mean, if you really want to get the most out of those pen angles, that I suppose is viable. There's a lot of cruisers in this match, which is ideal. Especially shores. Shores would be fun to shoot at with this thing. Nice, uh... Radar. Hmm. Cleveland is a little bit spooky. Cleveland is a problem. I think there was also a Baltimore there. Which is likewise not great. Oh no, it's Mogami. That's fine. Mogami is not a contender. Not that it's a bad ship. It just doesn't have radar. Probably in the radar range of Cleveland. Yeah. But he's got no reason to use the radar just yet. Okay, I spoke too soon. Apparently he does. Can he even shoot me, though? Apparently not. And likewise, we cannot shoot him. Sad. Probably smoke up, though.
Oh. Crook. Took a big hit. Hello, Shannon. Oh, and he's gonna make sure he doesn't spot us. That's good. Probably gotta switch to the HE. Convenient Island. I thought he was going to turn more. Hmm. Okay, then. That's Rook. These island boys over here, though, are a little bit of an issue. Mogami's an island boy. That's right, Mogami. You should move forward. You should move forward right there. That's right, Mogami. Keep keep going around that corner. We should go forward ourselves. Come on, you need to you need to get the little DD that got into the cap. Oh, I'm out of it now, but still come around that corner. Do it. Do it, Mogami. Right now. Oh, you, you're too cautious. Too cautious, Mogami. The AP shells do slap. It'd be nice if we could, uh... Oh. Hmm. Be nice, though, if we could get a target here. I'm just a little apprehensive about putting myself in a place where this Cleveland can shoot me, though. I did not expect to be spotted either. It's fine. But yeah, that's what we want to avoid for sure. Okay. We can't get vision on anything. the hell am I supposed to do? What, do I just get in there, I guess? I mean, I've got five billion cruisers behind me. This is... Is this a dumb idea? It's probably a dumb idea. Oh, the DD is here. Uh, okay. Yikes. Hi, Benham. Fuck off. Fuck off, Benham. Beat yourself. Oh, we're spotted by a plane. It's not cool, man. Oh, no. Now we're gonna beat ourselves like a potato... Radard. Come on, Torps. Surely Venom Torps will be. That's what I wanted to avoid. Fire alarm. All right, got out of that one fairly intact. Cleveland's got almost no HP left. Don't you have radar? There we go. Well, for two seconds we saw him. Oh good, the Cleveland is nearly toast. This has been... This has been an annoying match. Couldn't actually do anything in this destroyer. Might as well just go for Mogami now. 
Our Chapayev needs our assistance. I believe we could probably citadel this guy. Yep. Who said earlier that the teams are as bad as they've ever been? I mean, what a blowout for the Reds. Will to rebuild Madden Fiji. Yeah, that does sound not great. I love how effective this AP is, though. Look at that damage on the Amagi. Beautiful. Eh. All right. Not terrible XP, I suppose. We didn't really get to do anything. Get the... Once this thing comes out, I'll be interested to play this. Be like the Elbing, just not as good. Brisbane. Brisbane. All right. Brisbane it shall be. We got Leonard. We got Leonard at the helm for Stealth Radar. Could I play the Odin Makarov? Did you get the Makarov out of a crate? Roma or Z3? I could play one of those ships, I suppose. Probably the Z39 if I've got a choice. That sounds like the most enticing one. The historical camo on the Brisbane is really ex inspiring. The Z-39, I think, is good if it's the one I'm thinking of. I don't know. The Germans are so creative with naming their destroyers that it's hard for me to keep track of what the Z-39 is compared to the other ones, but I think it might be good. MH Quicksilver says no, it is not good. Maybe he's right. I don't know off the top of my head. Germans are just so creative with their destroyer names, it's so easy to differentiate them. Z-69? Yes. Need that thing. I'm sure that it is a real vessel. All right, radar minnow thing. The Z420, one hell of a smoke screen. Very dank smoke screen, to be sure. 150s can be good. But if the Z35 is the one with 5km sonar and the smaller guns, it might be better. All right, Yugamo, spot us some targets. Or we'll take target spotting from Shimakaze as well. Ohio. Oh, there's a DD in these waters. Are we still spotted? Muy interesante. Oh, shit. Ohio can lob that? I thought we were safe. Yeah, we're mostly safe. But, uh, let, let, so the DD's, like, right over there, then? Interesting. Okay. 
But is it in my radar range? Oh, wait. Are there two DDs, or did he just go that way? Great. Our fucking Yugamo has himself backed up against the wall. We cannot do anything for this Hayate. Maybe... Maybe I should be in a better position. But it's like you don't want to... Wait, now what the fuck could possibly be spotting me? Is there a DD over here? Wait a second. We got a smoke screen. Can we make it to the smoke? Firing penalty, we're off. Okay. Oh shit. Alaska's gonna radar us, fuck. Oh shit, this was a bad move. This was a really bad move, I'm gonna die now. I thought I could make it into the smoke screen. But there's Alaska radar. Fuck a duck. Yeah. That was a stupid move on my part. I deserve that. Oh no, that was bad. That was really bad. Sorry about that. We'll just move on to the next game. We'll just, uh, that wasn't important. We'll just pretend that didn't happen. Uh, what was I supposed to look at? Tier 6. Yeah, that was bad. If I, like, never played the Z39? Do I, I only, I have the Z39B and I've never played it. Z35. Z31. Huh. Uh, the aggression is kind of useless when it gets you killed like that. I don't have a regular Z39. Hmm. Apparently I've never played this ship, so this will be interesting. Nope. What is the story on this thing? It's got four or five 150 millimeter guns. Good AP. 8.5 km torps. It's got pretty good concealment. We'll probably go with the bay build. Hmm. What the fuck, Nightbot? I told you to fuck off. Oh, I forgot to disable repetitions. There we go. Now all of Nightbot's policing should stop. All right. Z39B. Why do I only have the B, though? No, Nightbot should fuck off now. I've turned off all of his spam protection. He's only here so as to facilitate future giveaways. That's true, but I don't know how to get rid of it. Should be okay, though. At least it's only timing people out. Spam protection. Blacklist disabled. Excess caps disabled. Excess emotes disabled. Links disabled. Repetitions disabled. That should solve him being a little censorious bitch.
Well, actually, it's probably incorrect to assume that Nightbot is, in fact, a male. No, we can stay... I don't even want to talk about the sex bots, because as soon as I do, I bet they, they come into the chat. What is this thing? It's got four 150mm guns. Why have I never played this before? How old is this black ship? Is this from last year? What is the sonar? Five. Okay. Is that why I've never played it? Because it sucks? Could be. Curious to see what'll happen. Oh, not with HE, though. Pensacola? All right. Does this thing get the pen? Can it pen a Budiani at 9 km? Uh, maybe. Results inconclusive. Oh, there's a DD there. Let's smoke up. Hmm. Well, I don't want to take those torps. Citadel the Pensacola Z36. You can certainly do it, right? Yes. Anything can Citadel the Pensacola. Torpedoes? There's more than one DD over here. That's a lot of torpedoes. Oh, I probably should be shooting at that. These turrets traverse so slowly. We got no vision of nothing. Oh. Whoops. Whoops. Ooh, wait a second. Rook will get us some... He'll die, but he'll get us some vision. Come on, Rook. This, these smoke screens are shit, aren't they? Two seconds left. These are some shit smoke screens. If I... Germans have shitty smoke screens. Horrible. He's this close to the thing, but we don't see the Pensacola. Very set. Oh, there it is. Can we citadel it at 11 km with the rear turrets of justice? Uh, maybe if I lead it more. Okay, maybe a bad idea. Sorry, Pensacola. Sorry about that. My mistake. Won't happen again. It's fine. I've learned my lesson. You don't need to keep shooting at me. Okay, well, that could have been way worse. Better find this fucking Akatsuki that's in our base. How did he get into the base anyway? Wasn't there a cruiser near him? Uh, or is it... Or is that the... No, that's a different Akatsuki. German DDs don't smoke, they vape. Well, they certainly aren't producing those big clouds. It'd be cool if they added a color coded sigil to indicate the rank in standard. I mean, I don't really have a strong opinion on it.
Capture the base mode is so fun. Hi there. Ooh. Yep, so the AP is the way to go. You just need to give me more angle than that so I don't overpen. Wow, the firing angles on this thing are trash. Well, I guess it shall have to be the HE. Are we going to lose a gunfight to an Akatsuki? Broke his torps. Uh, okay. Sonar in five, four, three, two, one. And hello, Akatsuki. And Akatsuki Torps. Uh, shit. Smoke will not save you. Blind firing might, though. Stop it. Enough of you. F. Die. All right. I think we'll probably lose this game. That's a lot of HP to lose in a gunfight with an Akatsuki. Um, hmm. Surely they can kill the Leningrad. Is Renown just gonna sail in that course? Shit. Well, now we're dead. We're dead now. Doomed. Unless this Monahan really just sucks this much at aiming. Yeah. Turning bow in. Yep. Well, the Z39 kind of. Ugh. Do we get torps, though? No. Unless that one manages to hit, but I don't think so. Maybe. No, they run out. Well, uh, Z39. Yikes. Not a lot of firepower there. Roma. Oh, uh, man. Roma, Roma, Roma. Got Iakino on there. That's probably fine. The 128s might... Well, there's more of them. They reload faster. The other one, I think, is better. Play Z35, I suppose. We'll see what happens. How many premium, uh, like all of them, all of the premium ships above tier three, I'm pretty sure I have. Quite literally all. What the actual number is, I do not know. That is true. I don't have the normal version of the Z-39. Was that a ship that was released before I became a CC? 
Must be, because that's the only reason I wouldn't have it. Whoops. I don't like the Roma. That H E. No. I do think we ought to shoot the Oodaloy, even though we can't. Oh, we can. Oh, we can't. I think we would go dark here once the firing... Well, no, there's the fucking fun police. Uh, okay, we're still spotted by the fun police. Smoke screen. I don't want to get blapped in the broadside by the Massachusetts. I do want to blap the hipper's broadside, if possible. We don't want to push into the hipper, though, because that would be death. Spotting me through the sonar, but that's fine. Oh, the hipper does have 27 millimeter plating, doesn't it? Hmm... Finish that turn, if you would. There you go. Well, that sucks. Get turned around here. This guy really is going for it, I guess. I don't think it's going to work out, though. Launching those torpedoes? Oh, he's turning. I think those are all going to miss. Wasn't enough lead anyway. Hipper is my nemesis now. Try this again. Oh my god. Well, okay. We did write those things a long time ago for that CC article. Was it six months? It took a long time for them to publish it. Exeter is fantastic. Oh, yeah. Was T-Bull still a CC at the time? Hipper? Dropping like flies, the CCs. We're all lazy. You know? We're all, f we're all just lazy. Gecko is... Well, Gecko, I haven't seen in a long time, to be fair. Uh, is the Hipper going to just kill the Baltimore? I guess we'll wait. 
Well, that's kind of what I thought. You don't sound too sure of that, Stylo. It's probably hard to be a CC for Legends and the PC at the same time. Oh god. Oh, fuck. Oh, really? Should I concentrate my fire on this guy, you think? That's better. I think my teammates think I should concentrate fire on the hipper. I'd love to, like, actually get damage, though. Not easy when they angle. He's doing a lot of damage to me, though. I don't like it. I don't appreciate it. I'm probably torp, too. We're in his torpedo range. He did remove a lot of HP with his guns. I guess we'll just go after the fun police now. What a pitiful amount of damage. Miss Chili. I don't like the Roma. But if I can kill a CV, I'll feel good. Tactic's still around. He makes the videos. Oh, yes. Islands. Surprised this CV's not dead. He's got this, well, Zeton. You've been detected? What a shock. Now, how on earth did you get detected? Could it be because of the planes? Could it be because of the CV itself? It's a mystery. He gets the kill, the skill kill with the secondaries. Tactics videos take careful planning. They're chock full of comedic moments. I think they do take a script. Oh, yes, 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 yes. He's accelerating by a lot. And I completely missed. Well, this, uh, this so far has been a fun session filled with very competitive games. My god. Roma. Play an HE-only Georgia game? Why would I do that? Why would I play HE only Georgia? That seems that seems nonsensical. Tell you what I will play though. Roma might be good. I just I might just suck. Who knows? We'll play Ohio though. Hmm. 
but the H E Georgia would be a criminal misuse of those beautiful guns. Be like punishable by a court martial and the pay to win ship. Maybe the uh maybe the commander. I don't really think the ship itself. The ship itself is strong, it's just uh They should put on the throttle. Yes, I am using AL New Jersey. Hi, Spartan. Well, this is a this is a good sign. Not all of our DDs are driving straight into the center, which is well, okay, one, one out of three. But that is that's an acceptable ratio. One out of three is acceptable. Three out of three, unacceptable. I I hate this map. No, I've turned off all of Nightbot's uh, sensorious filters so that he can't be a little commie bitch. I doubt that'll do anything, but might as well take it. Can you... Yeah, get away from my butt. Thank you. Ricochets. What are you anyway? Giuseppe Verdi. It's an unfortunate ship. Cannot hit Yamato. Turn in though. That's the sh okay. That's the Shima smoke screen. I was like, oh no. Enemy DD. Oh, there is. How are you spotted though? You're a fucking Shimakaze. Oh, that's a uh, torpedo. I'd appreciate it if these planes would not spot me. How dare you, Yamato? How dare you? Uh... No, fuck off. Unpleasant. Very unpleasant. Oh, there it is. There it is. The little bastard. Little British warlord guy. Is that what was spotting the Shima then? Must be. Well, my why has my entire team come to this side of the map? I've just noticed. That. Oh, my God. All right. Well, nice work, Shima. Um... I've just noticed this, though. This could be a problem. I've all, I'm still spotted, too, so there's another DD out here, which is probably also a problem. We're gonna turn the fuck around. <laughs> turn the fuck around. Nope the fuck out. We don't need to take torpedoes. I'll do something about the Drake in a second, maybe. 
Is he dead? I knew it. I knew it. That's why we turned away. I knew there was going to be torpedoes coming from some direction. And I was right. Okay, so I'm going to sail as far away from these other battleships as possible. We're going to go back toward the center. Especially because we've only got a Yamato defending the entire eastern flank. Uh, I guess there's a DD over there, but... For all intents and purposes, it's just a Yamato. Maybe we get the broadside of whatever this cruiser is over here. Dubious. Highly dubious. Don't you dare go in there. Don't do it, Holland. Oh. Yikes. Don't do it, Holland. You're going to drive straight into a cruiser. Three shatters. Uh, oh shit, the Pomeran is, I think, going to kill the Yamato. You're driving in... Well, maybe he won't get spotted. I guess the Drake doesn't have radar, so it's not the biggest risk. Why did he say thank you? Because they pointed out the Drake? He's like, yes, that is a strategic target. Ooh. Why am I spotted now? Might be able to get some good shots here on the Drake. I think, though, we might be in trouble. I think that's basically what I expected to happen to the Holland, too. It is a bad idea to go there. Okay, we gotta kill this Drake. Die, please, so you... Please die. Just just die. Oh my god, you didn't die. Well, Holland is toast. We don't want to push into a Palmer neither. Yamato kill that, maybe? Oh no. Oh no, no, no. We're gonna be dead. We're gonna be so dead. We're gonna be cross-fired. Alright, that could have been way worse. About to be torpedoed by a Palmern. And I can't really turn out of this either, because there's battleships over there. So we're doomed. Might as well just try to deal some damage. Yeah, that's right. Get your turrets wrecked. Ah, shit. This is so bad. I'm about to be surrounded. I'm about to get shot at by whatever these battleships are if I push out of here. Oh my god, it's a Conqueror and another Ohio. Well, we're toast. Maybe we get good shots on the Ohio. Probably should have saved those for the Palmer. Oh, that was actually halfway decent. Yeah, now we're going to get torpedoed. This is going to be fun. We're going to put on that and try to stay alive for the next two seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. No, no, no. Nope. Yeah. Well, that fucking sucks. 
The enemy team has taken the lead. Well, okay. So, yeah. Play a gear. I could play a gear. Maybe I could even have a good game in it. Let's see. Let's try it. Try not to potato. Try not to... You had to make a different name. What? Pomern. Yeah, sail any ship into the game into a crossfire like that and die. Congratulations. Play the ship that destroys me. What does... I don't even know what killed me. Was it a Pomern? I really don't want to do that. I do not like the Pomern. I like the A-gear, though. This seems like, I don't know, halfway decent matchmaking, probably. There's a Stalin Chad. Are you gonna... Are you gonna leave? Are you gonna leave me gearing? No, he's gonna... He's gonna come this way. Good. This guy, though. It's a Dememe's... You like the new French cruiser line? I've heard people say they like it. I've heard people say they hate it. Your channel has seen a massive bump since the update. To be honest, I have not really been paying attention to any of the numbers. I have no idea how the channel is doing good, I think. Can we get the gearing? Yes. What's that? Oh! It's an A-gear. Well, I want to wait for... Well, yes. Uh, you, you have much more reason to pay attention to it than I do, Spartan. It is, in fact, your livelihood. It's just a uh, little bit of extra cash for me. All right. Do we take the shot yet? We'll take it now. Now that Giuseppe is shot, we shall shoot. Oh, my God. Okay. Well, out of all the things I was expecting, it was not that. I was not expecting results quite so nice. Uh, Giuseppe's not aiming at me. You have decided to turn quite broadside, which is good. So sure, we'll do 11k on the angled superstructure, and we'll do zero on the slightly unangled broadside. I've lost too much HP. That's what I was worried about. Yes. Bounce. Love that sound. Rear turret of justice. Oh, there's no justice for the Reds. Oh, that A-gear is... Glad the Giuseppe doesn't want to shoot at me. I appreciate that. What did we just spot? Really, though? That's not good. That is Stalingrad. I think we can go dark. 
Yep. All right. Turn back of this way then. Venezia. I sure would like to see Illinois. Sorry about the banging the mic there. All right, all right, all right. Do we get more broadside from three cruisers dead? Cruisers are so hard to play in World of Warships Legends. They all die. They all die. Do I shoot at anything? Is there a point? What's the DD? I see it. I see it. There it is. It's a Holland. Shoot that. Probably get shot back. Yamato is looking. Yamato. No, he's not. Somebody is. Conqueror. I think you're so high and mighty with your high explosive. Get the turn complete before we shoot. My god. There we go. Any damage? Any damage would be welcome. Any damage better than that would be more welcome. Come on, RN Jesus. It's like Christmas. Give me give me something. Give me, like, 10k. Alright, well. What is Holland's torp range? It's like 15 kilometers, isn't it? Shit. We're gonna... Oh, shit. Oh, shit balls. Well, at least, uh... They... They don't hurt too much individually. Jeez. Holland is like, oh, we hit him with a torp. We better light him on fire now. Spoiler alert, though. The Conqueror gets the fire. Whoever would have guessed. What, Brutus? Stop. Stop complaining to me, Brutus. I'm the one that's on fire. Sorry about that. Brutus was on the floor. Had to pick him up, and I keep banging the mic. All right. Once again, a battle where we do absolutely nothing. Well, maybe something, actually. Surely 11 k.m., on a broadside Arp Musash... What? Nope. Two shatters. Okay. What if we bring it inside 10km on a broadside Musashi? How about then? How many shatters now, game? S three. All right. Well, what if we brought it inside nine kilometers? Then how many shatters, huh? How many shatters, game? Two. Okay, how close do we have to push into the Musashi's face? Stalingrad is kind of spooky, actually. Maybe we hold off for just a second. Okay, come on. Oh, it's pathetic. It is pathetic. Uh, okay. Well, at least the Musashi doesn't want to shoot at me. I, I do appreciate that. That is very nice of him. Okay, come on. He is slightly angled, to be fair. It's probably... 
why these shells are not as good as I feel like they should be. Nice torps. Ooh, the Stalingrad is behind the... Well, there is a DD, though. Is the DD, like, right next to me? Not quite. This guy... Oh, no, he's looking at me now. I... Nope. 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 Fuck off. Fuck off. Oh, wait. If he goes in that... To, was that his secondaries that just shot, or were those his main guns? Mm, oh, well, he's gonna die. Good. All right. Apparently the Aegir shells are not fantastic against an ever so slightly angled Musashi. What's the cruiser? Oh, right, Stalingrad. Right, the communist. I guess he was heading in this direction, so I wouldn't mind brawling a Stalingrad one-on-one. -on -one. Really wouldn't be one-on-one -on -one at this point since the blue team is full of chads. The shattering shells bug? Take the cap. Ooh. Yes, Stalingrad. Yes. I don't think he's broadside enough, but... No, he's definitely not broadside enough. Oh my god. I forgot... His guns are super cracked. Of course, he takes out the torps. I don't think it'll matter, though. He'll probably be dead before I can torpedo him. It's nice that the secondaries pen. Actually, he'll stay alive. No, don't you dare ram, you bastard. No, 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 yeah, there you go. No ramming. Ram denied. Ha ha. We'll take no rams in a torpedo brawling cruiser. That would just be embarrassing. And we just got this maniac little Holland running around torpedoing everything. I'm sure the game will not last much longer, though. Are you just shooting this? You've been spotted. That's interesting. Where is he at, then? Can you see me? If I oh, he can. I've also been spotted. How do I say that? There we go. He is over there. Probably. Turn on the sonar. Try and uh, give our Yamato any advanced warning of incoming torps. Ah, there it is. Was that enough lead? No. Is he spotted because of Des Moines radar? Mm-hmm. He's having some fun. There we go. 
Kind of hoping to yoink the kill there, but it was not to be. Did get a, uh, did get a dreadnought, I think. Right? Yes. Not a bad result either. I mean, the Musashi apparently is the Chad, but GG's. What's a big question? Dispersion versus grouping? Uh, I don't know. Constellation? That's intriguing. It's an intriguing suggestion. Probably ought to put uh, the Arthas plane on there, though, if we're running AL New Jersey with Arthas. Play Odin. Oh, yeah, I like the A gear. I do. Oh, good. Scandinavia again. Oh, well. Eight DDs. It's fine. That's fine. One of them is the Akatsuki, so... We don't have an Akatsuki. We do have an Asashio, though. This is literally the only uh, third time I've played this map. No, I'm I I think I like it. It seems pretty good. But this is literally the third time I've played it. Oh, if you want to know, if you want to notice how cracked the British battle cruisers are, just wait until they put St. Vincent at the legendary tier. Just wait. If you want to see super cracked British battle cruisers, St. Vincent is the one. Not that the other ones aren't good, the Hawk is wonderful. The uh, the Duncan is good, but the St. Vincent is stupid. The St. Vincent gets, like, Thunderer guns. It gets nine of them. And also, its citadel is completely underwater and absolutely inaccessible. Incomparable? Eh. I mean, it's interesting, I guess. It's got like the 510 millimeter guns and 12 km concealment or something. Also got no armor. Okie dokie, so we've been spotted. Oh, wait, there's not enough room to pull this maneuver, actually. Well, fuck it, we're gonna do it anyway. Geniza now! Oh, Fletcher. I think Fletcher is probably outside of the radar range. Maybe I just should push straight in like the Zeton, but I... I do... There's two destroyers then. Or the Fletcher is out of his smoke. He's not out of his smoke. There's two DDs. Hmm, there's the other one. None of them in radar range. This guy getting further away. Fletcher getting close. No, he's backing up. Rather shoot at the Fletcher at the moment. 
Yeah, see, this is uh, that's basically why I thought pushing straight in here would be a bad idea. Let's let's see. Um, yeah, so two torps says that's bad idea. Hmm. Hmm. Gnizen now shooting he. What is with the German battleships in their HE? It's like not good. What's the radar range on this thing? 10 km, I think. I think it is 10 km. Reverse. Is this a real person? DDs are so hard to play. How's our uh, Zeton doing? Oh, really bad? Well, this was a boring flink. Time to drive over to the other one. Luckily, though, look at the reds. Look at how, uh, look at how well guarded that particular island is. My God. Nothing, nothing on the blue team is going to get near that island. The firepower in that corner. Oh, man. That is that is some island coverage right there. My gosh. Uh Okay. I don't know. I don't know what the Bliskovich is doing. Is he in that smoke, maybe? Imagine if these torpedoes hit him. How glorious would it be? I think if I get spotted, though, instant radar. Because if I get spotted, he'll be within the radar range. Oh? Oh? Oh, he's over here. Okay. What a sneaky little bastard. Oh, and he dodged most of those shells. Not shooting back. Oh, now he shoots back. Interesting choice. Confirmed penetration. Once upon a time, this was the fastest destroyer in the game. And now... Now it's just a pretty mid premium. And it's dead. And once again, we play a game where we don't really get to do anything. I'm surprised this guy's still alive. Well, La Foudre over this way 
And just push right in. Just push right in. Wait to shoot the guns. Yeah, Bliskovica is, uh... Quit jinxing my teammates. I was just pointing out how impressive it was that the... Uh, I guess we'll never get a better shot, so... Oh. Interesting. Probably ought to shoot the HE, though. Casey goes forward, I guess. We're probably going to die if we don't go dark. Imp oh, shit. I did not think he could shoot me from over there. We're gonna die, actually. I pushed in too much. If we take out the Veneto, I, I think I might be throwing this game, actually. I might be throwing. Die before you shoot? Okay. Oh, he did shoot. Fuck. Alright, well, it could have been worse. Glad he doesn't shoot at me. Oh no, secondary fires. Is he dead to these torps? Looks like it. Nope. Interesting. Well, hopefully I didn't throw that. Hopefully I didn't throw that by pushing in and over committing like that. Killed the Veneto, though. Asashio is, uh... Well, Asashio might die. But... Maybe not. I don't think he's spotted. And this guy is perfectly safe. And the cruiser is... I mean, nobody's got vision of anything, but... Yeah, that's it it could have been worse. It certainly could have been worse. We we could have potatoed a lot harder than that. But uh I'll be right back. And that is true. I did not have an armor for that push, but I will be uh I'll be right back.
All right. How many games has the Shima sailing behind your team with 4,000 plus kills? How many games have they thrown chasing damage? Probably about 4,000, I would say. 4,000 games. Well, yeah. Mediocre placement on the leaderboard for mediocre play in the Constellation. What to play now? What to play now? Some I got boxes. Probably should open these, huh? Probably should open them. See what's in there. Ooh, two level two Christmas crates. That's fun. I don't think I can literally get any ship out of these, though. I'll take 20,000 global XP. Oh, wait, only one level two Christmas crate? Yeah, misread. Mm. Illiterate. Zeton coming in second place, though. Yeah, I suck. The Zeton's a chad. All right. Maybe uh, we'll go play uh, something really simple and boring. The Kutuzov Whale. Yeah. Play the simple and boring Kutuzov Whale. It's been a long time since I've played the Kutuzov. You got the... I mean, it's not a bad super prize to get, especially since the economy change for improvement upon Tier 7 earnings. This is a credit earner. You got the Georgia Whale last week. Now that is exciting. I don't like this spawn. I want to go this way, but this island, I don't know. The fucking fun police. What do they have? A Pobita. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah, the bureaus take too long. Can we make this turn? This giant Soviet thing? Ah, yes. Slow her down a little bit. Where are you, Brutus? Oh, there you are. What a good boy. Brutus just laying on the floor so patiently next to the chair, waiting for me to pick him up. What a good boy. Yeah. He's very... Very grunty, though. He's like, you're playing this fucking boats game. All I want to do is sit on the couch. So the DD went into the center cap. You got, you got uh, the regular Georgia and the Georgia whale? That's always fun. When you get duplicates, you just... One of them you build properly, and then the other one you mess around with. I should get the Brutus cam, but he's not sitting at a good angle for it. Maybe for Christmas. I'm kind of thinking I'll end up doing another stream tomorrow, or maybe Sunday. On Christmas Eve. Probably give away some codes. It's basically my plan. Now I've got the whole weekend off, and I don't think we actually have any plans for Christmas Eve itself, so... Might do a stream then, might do it tomorrow. But one of those two days, I'll be doing a stream and giving away some codes. It'll be either tomorrow or on Christmas Eve. Depending on how we feel. Can I play Odin? I suppose so.
problem right now, though, is that there's no spotting. I mean, eventually, these guys never gonna come around that corner? What is this cruiser? Something that outspots me by a country mile? Is it gonna shoot? Oh, it's Mogami. I wonder if he torpedoed. These torps might have the range. Can't think of what Mogami torpedo range actually even is. 10 km? Might as well reverse the ass into the cap. Have you beached yourself? It's unfortunate. Is there a good reason to smoke up yet? That Mogami starts shooting at me. Maybe. Okay, well, there's a reason to smoke up now. Don't need any of that from these battleships. Ooh, is Yoink, is this my kill? No, they all miss. Come on, come on, give me the kill. Or 606 damage, that's probably fine. There we go. There we go, that's what we want. First blood. This smoke screen may not have been as good of an idea as I was originally thinking. Because now... Oh, wait, wait, wait. I was going to say, now we can't really use it, but... If we can farm a pushing Zeton... Benson, don't get, don't get too risky now. What are these two battleships doing? Hmm. I don't know what this guy's plan is, but I, I don't think I like it. Because I'm pretty sure he's like, oh, we got all the caps now. Let me go out and YOLO these two battleships with my Benson and my slow-ass torps. I don't know. I don't know about that move. He's awfully close. Well, he's not spotted, so he might be fine. As long as he doesn't go in and get himself spotted, it's fine. Just it makes me a little nervous when you see a DD doing that kind of thing. We have to wait three years for the next smoke screen. The mines is called Chudster. Hmm. I do. Are you talking about this winter camo? I think it's pretty nifty. We have to, like, put ourselves in the center cap and smoke up to actually get any farming done. Or the Zeton just has to die. That'll probably work. Did we find the DD? I think we might have found the DD. Oh no, we were spotted by the Zeton. I thought he was dead. My mistake. Imagine if 
we could keep vision of the Colorado and get shots on him at the same time. How glorious it would be. Oh shit, are we gonna get spotted? Oh, he's not looking this way anyway. We'll probably be fine. Probably be all right. Well, until he does look this way, but I think he's the only one that can actually shoot me. I mean, DCP to single fire too, did he? Really? He's like, I have no interest in shooting at the Kutuzov? None whatsoever. All right. Okay. You and your fucking cracked out AP, sir, won't, won't have any of that. Can I finally smoke up? No, no, I should wait until... Wait until I can get shots on these guys pushing in. Then I should smoke up. Yes. All right. I wonder if that's a radar Plymouth, though. I bet it could be. Certainly possible. Uh, okay, there we go. All right, all right, all right, all right. Now, what is this thing's detectability in smoke when firing guns? I think it's seven and a half kilometers, right? Seven and a seven point seven. Okay, a little bit off. He's burning nicely though, so maybe the AP. Hmm. Don't like that. How close is that Veneto actually? 10.6. Oh good, he's gonna smoke up. That's excellent. Gonna get a broadside Plymouth. Oh shit. Islands. Damn it. Damn islands. Uh I think he's gonna turn. I might be wrong about that though. No, I am right. He is gonna turn. And he is going to turn that way. Torps are never going to hit him, though, because he's dead. Well, Kutuzov is still as good as it's ever been, I guess. Stupidly easy to play. Excellent shell arcs, too. Yeah, Kutuzov is still one tough, one tough cookie. All right, I've had enough of your cracked out AP. I really have. It's far too cracked. I don't appreciate it. And you have got no armor, so probably you will bounce all these because you've angled away. 
Or they'll just fall in the water. That's, that's acceptable. Well, I guess it was not a radar Plymouth. I would like to have sonar. I don't need sonar. Go away, Pobita. We don't we don't serve your kind. Are there not a lot of people in the CC fleet? But Meta Jerk, I thought you were like really toxic and you don't play with other CCs because we all suck or something. Isn't I thought that was um that was the whole thing, right? Or is that is that fake news? Oh, it is okay. See, I thought it was accurate. I just just wanted to be sure, you know. Oh no. Oh no. Well, one is not the end of the world. Any more? Why don't you shoot your guns at me, little Akatsuki? Oh, that's nice. Why don't you shoot your guns? You're not going to get any damage with those torpedoes. You got your one that I couldn't dodge because I'm a potato. I guess we'll just take some HP from the Pobita. Get like 150k. That'll be nice. Good old Kutuzov Whale. Good old Kutuzov Whale. What was I uh, supposed to play next? I, I can't... Friesland? I feel like I was supposed to play something else. I'll play Friesland, though, because I can't remember what I was supposed to play. But yeah, I'll play Friesland. We got Swirsky. We got Rumble. We got Sims. I mean, extra range. Even more extra range. Better smoke. More damage. Better reload. That's that's basically the build. I think a lot of people probably wouldn't run this inspiration, and a lot of people probably wouldn't run this, and they'd go Twist and Track, or they'd go Perceptive instead, which is fine. But... Um, I'll take the uh, the 12.2 km of range and the 1.5 second reload and not take the RPF indicator, and I'll be fine. Odin, right, right. Well, shit, we've just loaded into the Friesland game. I was about to back out and go to Odin. It's too late, but okay, Odin... Odin, Brutus. Remind me when this game is over, all right? Brutus, uh, Brutus is like, no, I will sleep. Odin. Oh my god. There is a Saipan on the enemy team. Why are all the fun police around? Why do they got to be police in the seas today? It's Christmas. They're like, here's your present. Have a HE bomb. Have a torpedo. Have three. Unless you're the Saipan, in which case it's like have a billion. Is Odin a good ship? 
Uh, it's fine. It's not the worst ship in the world. It's not the worst German premium battleship. I think that honor goes to the Pomern. Really don't like the Pomern. Is Roma good? I don't think so. Other people disagree with me. But I do not think Roma is good. I do not really think the Italian battleships generally are good, except for the Lepanto and the Colombo. I mean, the Friesland is certainly not the worst destroyer to be playing in a game with CVs. That is, that is very true. Massachusetts takes some nice damage. Wonder where the enemy DD is. Let's uh, let this guy get in front of me a little bit. And then his RPF indicator will change. Enemy DDs don't want to push the cap. Which is... Oh, wait a second. Really, why do you have such trash concealment? My concealment's not very good on this build. Why is this guy so terrible? Yeah, you tell him, Brutus. Is Nick home for lunch? Yeah, you tell him. You tell him, little brutes. Some fires. Oh, whoops. Probably don't back out of the smoke screen. Yes. Fire as he gets out of my range. Hopefully that'll burn for a while. Colorado's about to have fun. Does that look... That looks fun. Oh, yep. Yep. He is enjoying the push. He's very slowly enjoying the push. Can we, like, get some pens into that superstructure, though? It's got no HP. Can we get, like, any pens on this superstructure? There we go. There we go. Nice, crispy American battleship. That's the way they're meant to be well done. You don't want them medium rare, you know? You want them burnt. Ooh, a destroyer. I do, I do so enjoy the Friesland. It's a great ship.
There are two enemy DDs possibly pushing into the center. And I don't think I have support. It's fine. We'll do it anyway. It'll be just fine. Nothing bad will occur. See, it's just a Summers. What can Summers do? And to the power of the Friesland. Summers can just melt. Summers can do nothing to the power of the Friesland except tort me. Oh shit. Shit, fuck, damn, fuck, damn it. F. Well, that sucks. That fucking sucks. I think the other D. I don't know what the other DD is, actually. This could be not good. We certainly don't want to be sonared by the Bismarck. Or spotted at all. Shit, I forgot my concealment is trash. Shit, F, F, smoke, 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 smoke. smoke okay. Uh, well, if he sonars me, I'm probably fucked. Oh. Or if the black radars me, I guess, but maybe he doesn't have radar. Nope. Friesland is superior to all. Friesland is the most superior DD. Just in case the black torqued. Well, that is a win. You would think we would be able to shoot down more than just one plane, though, but... It's fine. Is it worth running the legendary mod on Friesland? It's certainly worth running the epic one. I suppose it probably is worth running the legendary one, though. I mean, you put... Mortar on there, you get three per or thirteen percent extra main battery damage. You put the uh, epic mod on there, you get you know a little bit more. Ooh, can we shoot down some planes, some Saipan midway planes? He's gonna kill me, isn't he? He's gonna kill me. Speed boost. Yep, yep. Well, I don't think that really turns the game around for him, but uh, I think we still win that one. But I guess he got his little consolation prize. All right, so anyway. We're not going to forget. We want to fill... No, we do want Tier 7. We want German battleships. There's... My God, how many are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight... Do we have enough tier 7 German battleships in this game? I don't know. I don't know. We got Megatron on here. I don't know what the point of this build is for the Odin, but we're going to go with it. No, no, don't Google Blue Waffle. It's a trap. It's an old trap. You will... See a disgusting image if you do it. Don't do it. Unhalt is not the best tier 7 German BB. I don't think so. I don't like it. I'd much rather play Odin or Brandenburg or Bismarck or Tirpitz. I'd play any of those over Unhalt. Unhalt is... Not good. 
You know who didn't have enough German be- the actual historical Germans? Yeah, they had what? Bismarck, Tirpitz, Gneisenau, Scharnhorst? Jaeger. Oh, shit. They're testing the Jaeger. Great. That thing has about, like, 50 bajillion torpedoes. I've seen them on the PC. I think it's got, like, 12 torpedoes. And they're like, they're the pan, pan-European ones, so they're really fast, too. I think they've got good long range. There's 12 of them. Uh, what it does have, though, is absolute trash guns. Jaeger is a joke in Super Tester's hands? What does that mean? They're playing it poorly? These f oh my god, jet planes. What is this, the fucking Parsifal? Nice. Cool. Shoot that one plane down. Come on. Nope. Probably should have just dodged that. Still spotted by his fucking planes, too. That would have been a little less... Okay. Honestly. I was not expecting damage quite that good against the Georgia, but I'll take it. I don't think I want to push in too much, because there is a DD there. Uh, shit. Is Georgia gonna... I forgot how fast it is. Hmm. Oh, jeez, the CV certainly does want to focus me. That is what I was worried about. I'm assuming he does have the range to... Oh, cool. Fucking... What was that? 20,000 damage through the deck from the sky, from a citadel? God, AP bombers are such fucking bullshit. Just let me flood the ship and list it to the starboard so I can angle against the fucking sky. God, CVs are such bullshit. I understand, of course, why the why the CV is going for me, because those AP bombs are very... Well, shit, did I just drive right into these torps? I did. I just drove right into them. They're so fast. My god. Oh, don't have DCP either. No, that's fine. I'm tortured by the CV. Maybe we'll get killed by the Jaeger. That'd be cool. That would be cool. Well, the CV's not going for me anymore. Nice. Nice. Well, Odin sucks. No, it's fine. It's a good ship. CVs suck, though. Oh, man. Uh, okay. Fighter might have been, uh, might have been all right. On halt, I would have to... 
I mean, I guess I can afford the modules. We'll probably go with, I don't know, aiming systems mod one or we'll go with that. We'll go with that. Probably go with main battery reload. And probably go with aiming systems. I don't really think there's any point in building this thing for secondaries. Probably use the spotter plane too. But probably will run Megatron. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll go with that. It is kind of a secondary build, but... Oh, that turret traverse, though, is painfully bad. Okay, that's better. We don't need secondary range anyway. All right. What are my... I don't really like the Italian BBs. I like the Lepanto and the Colombo. The rest of them I don't like. Uh, what is a ship that I would play if I absolutely... I don't know. It'd be some sort of destroyer. If I absolutely want to win, it would be a destroyer. Like the maybe the USS Black. Anhalt has worse guns than Prince Eitel Friedrich. I looked it up on ship tools. It's got less pen than Prince Eitel Friedrich. To be honest with you, I think the ship is trash. I won't even sugarcoat it. I think it's actually trash. I don't like it because you, what, because you have to be, ag I don't know if you really want to be aggressive in this thing. It's slow. HE might be the way to go. But against Nagato, that kind of, I don't know, maybe. Probably not. I don't think I bled that quite enough. Yeah. I'm going to switch to the HE, I think. Also, the firing angles on this thing are absolute trash. I mean, I guess it's got armor, which is nice. That's what we don't want. Oh, we get more fun police. Great. Great. changed my course. There is a battleship coming down the center. There is two battleships and a destroyer coming down the center. I guess we are going back. Maybe the AP can actually do something to that. Can the AP do something to a Nagato? 
Can it do anything at all? I wonder if Summer's Torps are a bit of a concern at the moment. I don't think that's accurate. I don't know if I actually really did break his turret. Whoops. Well, I don't know if they'll even implement those plane changes on World of Warships. They s all they did was announce the, their plans. They haven't actually done it, though. This Nagato would be so dead if I had anything with actual main battery guns. Oh, I thought the Bismarck might uh, shoot at me. I guess not. Torp was close. Dodge that one. shooting AP because I thought I might get the broadside of the Bismarck in the Vanguard, but I guess not. I might actually, though, on the Vanguard. Let's see. Can the AP do anything against a Vanguard at two kilometers? All right. That's acceptable. CV, the last refuge of the talentless. Ooh, spicy. Spicy stuff. CV is an aircraft carrier. I don't know. I think the on-halt is uh, bad. I think it is not good. Cranky, I think, is the only... Cranky might be the only good player in this game who defends CVs. I have seen the Severomorsk. I watched um, Flamu's um, covering of those patch notes or the dev blog or whatever yesterday, and it... To use uh, his words, it looks completely dented. Like, the idea is there's this special combat instruction on this thing, 
And this is basically like the communist Kearsarge or whatever. And there's this thing where if you get 1.8 million potential damage, then you uh, your planes reload in 80% less time, and you can basically turn yourself into a CV. My, like, oh my god. Maybe in some parallel universe they have. <laughs> they have a um, powerful navy. Battle ended. Loading battle results. Tier 7 on halt. Third on the leaderboard with 1,819 base XP. That means it's a good ship, but not quite as good as the Z-31 or the Rook, both of which are clearly superior. Siegfried. Siegfried. All right. Siegfried it is. That's true. It is very tanky. The guns do suck, though. Megatron makes it so that the fires don't burn too long. Makarov? Do I have... I have Makarov. It's just a Nuremberg, isn't it? Yeah, but that's not the reason I'm using Megatron. I'm using Megatron for revocation protocol which uh, it increases the duration of the spotter plane, which is, you know, not necessarily useful for German battleships, but it decreases the fire burn duration by 20%, which I think is a massive buff to their survivability, particularly for German battleships, for, uh, you know, obvious reasons. No, I do not have Salem. I don't ever need to play Salem again, to be honest with you. I had the game that I needed in that cruiser. All right, what are, what are we going to do? Are we going to go out to Alpha and have nothing follow us? Colorado? Nope. Sixteen Des Moines guns on a BB, the New Hampshire. Is that some new ship in PC that they've been testing? I was playing that game yesterday, and I ran into something called Rhode Island. Some sort of American battleship Iowa-looking thing with quad turrets. I asked the guy, how big are those guns, but he didn't respond to me. Oh, there's DD. Must be over here. Well, you should pay attention to what's going on on the video game screen, especially since I've been spotted. Tosh Kent. That's a bold choice. Oh my god, these guns completely whiffed. Anchorage? Is there not a battleship over here? Get fucked, Tashkent. Get torpedoed by a Siegfried.
Oh, I hope we don't get torpedoed in return, but I don't think he got the torps off. I uh, imagine taking torpedoes from a Siegfried, though, in a de destroyer. That's got to suck. Moment of silence for the poor Tashkent. Can we get vision of this anchorage so I can shoot it? I guess we probably should go forward and push in a little bit more. Yeah, I guess that, that Tashkent learned how to not position in the Tashkent. My God, is every cruiser in existence over here? This is great. Would have been much better if the uh, front couple guns had gotten on target, but what are you going to do? I think there are there three cruisers here. There's fucking Eugene. Oh, I thought he beached himself for a second. This, if these guns hit you, you're dead. Yep. This, this is a battleship, basically. I don't know if we can actually do anything to Prinz Eugen. Yeah, yeah, torpedoes, torpedoes. Oh, that's excellent. What the hell? Yes, you can read more of that. Well, two overpens. But still. Yeah, shoot at me with your HE, Eugene. This, uh, this Odin is, uh... A bit bold, I'd say. This is like the most ideal scenario for the Siegfried ever imaginable. Just deal with a bunch of cruisers that can't do anything to you. That's what you want. Especially if they're focused on killing the Odin. Okie dokie then. I don't know what I did. I just, I apparently hit the matchmaking jackpot. Just happened to walk into a game with the, I mean, I guess I'll just push straight into this Iowa and this Anchorage and see what happens. Why not? Everything else is hiding extremely far away for reasons unknown. So it's literally just this Iowa and Anchorage. And Iowa with that kind of broadside, I don't know. These guns might might citadel him if they if they land right. Eh. Or they might do Gneisenau things. Hello, T-Man. I might do some Gneisenau things. I mean, the accuracy so far is quite on point. Iowa, though, he's mad. He's a, he's an angry boy over here. He doesn't like the Siegfried. Oh, he lost vision of me, though? Getting vision again. I'd like to shoot the anchorage. Be nice. You gonna shoot at me now, Iowa? Don't aim at the bow. How dare you? How dare you aim so far forward? 
Don't aim at the weak points. It's not cool. We don't like that. Oh, the Iowa is definitely more mad at the Wichita. I cannot believe he's actually shooting at me, though, when he's got a Wichita there. I think you're adjusting too much now for the bow, Iowa. But surely you want to shoot at the Wichita that's melting your HP, right? Surely you do not want to shoot at the Siegfried. What kind of threat am I to you? Nothing. Look at this Wichita. He's beating the shit out of you. Shoot him. Yeah, that's right. Shoot the Wichita. Die now. Oh, we win. How broken is Siegfried? No, that's true. <laughs> it's a Wichita. He probably does know. It's no use to shoot him. What the fuck, Siegfried on the top of the leaderboard, 2,200 base XP. Crazy. Okay, so what what is the what is the one guy saying about you wanna see the um the German Nuremberg? God, I haven't played this ship since since it was released. So many one-sided games? Oh, you're telling me. Every day it's a one-sided game. Every day it's one-sided. We are not going to get dev-struck. Think positive thoughts, Shockwave. Think positive thoughts. Dev-struck, negative. We don't we don't want that up in, you know, in the ether. We don't need these thoughts floating around. We, we will manifest victory in our imagination. Victory, of course, would include not getting dev struck. You got Siegfried a, a couple months ago and haven't even put a commander on it well it can be a struggle sometimes makarov uh makarov thoughts on it i mean i think it's a it's a premium that they put inside of crates to give it away for free because it's not very good it's a nuremberg but uh it's got less torpedoes than the actual nuremberg I don't know if it gets any kind of improved Soviet bullshit with its guns. It might. It might be a Nuremberg with Soviet bullshit guns. I can't remember. But other than that, I mean, I think you, you probably just want to play the Nuremberg. I don't think it gets any Soviet bullshit with the guns. They seem too floaty for that. It's not like the worst thing in the world, I guess. It's a tier 5 cruiser. Gorky. Okay, I guess we switch fire to the BBs, such as the way of the HE spamming cruiser. There we go. Nakato. Wow, 
Wow, how great would it be if we had vision of stuff and could farm it? I think I'm gonna go this way. Mackenson. This thing does have some range on these guns, though. I don't know if I'm using Kuznetsov or not. Got the Lenin. Now that is a strong boat. Never thought I'd see the day when it would come back. I remember I had to get that thing the old fashioned way by grinding. And it was a, it was a grind, I'll tell you that. I don't remember any of the details about it other than it took a long time. Now you just open these boxes and maybe you get it. God, I need to leave these shells better. Zero fires so far. Probably maybe ought to shoot the AP at the broadside Nagato. See what that does. 10 kilometers, probably good things. Hmm. Mm, could be better, certainly. Oh, we're gonna lose. I think I'm gonna have absolutely no impact on the outcome of this. We can't even get vision of anything. Shooting at me, that's kind of them. Okay. Fire is good. Fire is ideal. El Tarigo. Oh, Gata. Don't think that's going to be enough to kill El Tarigo. Might be wrong. No, they don't even hit at all. I don't need any of the sap, thank you very much. Can we ever find the secret citadel? Yes, we can. We can find the secret citadel. Very secret. Very secret. Oh my god, that's a lot of damage. Great. Abruzzi in Belfast all shooting at me. I am but a lowly piece of shit, Makarov. What am I supposed to do? I think this is German HE. I don't think this is Russian HE. That's a bold move. Oh, okay, it's not that bold, I guess. You got smoke. Um, there's a battleship right there. There's a battleship. We're gonna die. Well, that's a Makarov. I mean... It's just a Nuremberg that you probably don't want to play too much. 
I think the AP might be worse than the Nuremberg. It didn't seem like it was doing anything good. I remember Nuremberg's H AP being a hell of a lot better than that. Daring, 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 daring with with free to play commander or with orc boy. Probably orc boy, right? Where's orc boy? Ah, orc boy. Yes. Makarov HE is 1700. Yeah, then it's German. It's not even Russian HE. Maybe it's not, though. I don't know. How big are those guns? Are they 150s? Do I follow Warhammer stuff? No, not really. I own a couple of those uh, Total War Warhammer games, though. Those are all right. Just the mic. Need it pointing better. There we go. What, are you seeing a lot of Hugas out there or something? Oh, you know, speaking of the Huga, I opened up a, a Santa crate on World of Warships PC, and I got the Huga out of that. I haven't played it yet on the PC, though. I assume it's probably the same as it is on Legends. Yamato all day? Troll? Who's a troll? Oh, Brisbane. Is it naked? It's a naked Brisbane. It's gonna, we're gonna collide here. Let him go around. There you go. You just complete your maneuver there, sir. Your naked Brisbane. You do see a lot of A.L. Chapayev, don't you? You certainly do. Maybe I should have gone the other way. Ah, well. It's too late. We're committed to this flank. Oh, you're a troll? Okay. Oh, yeah. Molotov is uh, actually a good Tier 5 cruiser. Under the Russian flag. You think there's a destroyer there? I mean, there could be, I guess. My RPF indicator is actually pointing there. But it, I mean, eh, he's not wrong. There is a destroyer there. Need to kill that Alaska, though, if I want to deal with the destroyer. Well, we need to spot the Alaska for that, though. That Shima is dead, I assume. Right. Oh, shit, a Napoli B. Oh, and it's a Shima. Of course it is. Hi there, Shima. Well, we don't really get to get the hits on him. It's fine. Farm the Napoli a little bit, I guess. intelligence data. We're gonna send some torpedoes this way. Might be able to do something to the Napoli. And then we'll see if we cannot spot the Shima. 
Sneaky Shima. Sneaky, sneaky Shima. What's behind me? Oh, there's Napoli. Hmm. There's Shima. Oh my god. Fuck, 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 fuck. Critical engine damage. Well, that was a bit spooky, I must admit. Okay. This Shima really wants to try to torpedo me, I guess. That Alaska could be a problem. Oh, it's Nagir. Well, he could be a problem, too. Can we get vision on the Shima again? Go away, Agir. Thirty seconds left of this sonar. What is he doing? Huh. Um might might do this here real quick. Get some damage in on the Montana. Stop, Daring. Oh, he DCP'd. I don't think we'll be able to start on fire again. I do want to kill the Shima, but I don't really want to push into it while that Aegir is still alive. Or the Napoli, for that matter. I think I'm just going to go to Bravo. Because I think that can be taken with minimal effort. Yes, Bravo, I think, is the way to go. We do need a cap. I don't think we're going to get Charlie. Luckily, the cruisers are just about dead. Almost probably going to take this shot on Napoli. Okay. Line fires? Shimakaze blind firing with gun? That's insane. Shimakazes don't usually fire with their guns even when they do have vision. But to do it without vision. A Chad Shima, perhaps? A Shima Chad? Oh, it's a Holland. Okay, I thought it was a Shima. Well, well, all right. It's it's not a Holland anymore. Not anymore. I don't really get to do anything at all in this game. Well, that makes more sense. Why it was um, why it was shooting at me blind? It was a Holland. That makes more sense. Might as well shoot the Montana. Maybe the Shima? Mm, maybe not. 
He is coming this way, though. Maybe Torps. Who knows? It could work. Oh, wait. Take the cap. Shit. We're not going to take the cap. Oh, what a potato. What a potato. Sailing out of the cap when we're behind on points. Well, not for long. That's dead Montana. Enemy battleship sunk. Oh, the Shima was almost going to do it. He was almost going to do it. He was almost going to come that way. Those torps could have got him, but no. Uh, I don't know if I can actually hit him. on the very edge of the range. Did get a cap though, I'll take that. Well, the legendary, I mean, I'm telling you what, the, the level of uh, competitiveness and strategy at this tier. My gosh, it is the envy of the gaming world the pros look at what these people are doing at legendary tier on world of warships legends and they're like damn that game should have an esports tournament with a one billion dollar prize because it's just so competitive that's what i think every time i play a legendary tier match say oh my god the tactics and the competitiveness of this, these legendary tier players, they are something to behold. Oh no, we don't get to yoink the kill. Ah, the daring though. What a great vessel. A better one if you can man it. Well, I don't know. Like, apparently I just get the team of five chads with 2k base xp well it's time to play the gift from santa claus stalingrad also known as stalin chad you drink a, a gallon of water a day sometimes i do too drink water all the time i get thirsty Nick is like, he drinks tea all the time. I'm like, I'm thirsty. He's like, I'm drinking tea. I'm like, no, I got to drink water, though. Tea will not quench the thirst. Any GXP Tier 7 Cruiser. What are the various cruisers? I don't even know which ones are available for GXP off the top of my head. I'd have to look. The immediate first one that comes to mind is a Tago. I mean, this is a GXP cruiser, I guess. This thing is nuts. P-bag best for competitive play? Well, it does have radar. Otago is always good. Otago is a uh, old classic. Oh, thank you, Aaron. Merry Christmas. Azuma, yes. Azuma. Azuma might be number one choice, actually. Azuma. It might be Azuma. I'll have to look at what ships are available for GXP, but if I had to pick one and it was going to be 750 rather than 2 million like Stalingrad, I, I don't know. I'll have to look. Azuma is... It's a good one, though. Not Tier 7? Are there any cruisers available for GXP that are not Tier 7? Atlanta? I think Atlanta is. Is there anything else? 
Because if it's not a Tier 7 GXP cruiser that you're looking to get, the only... Just, there'd be Atlanta, there would be Stalingrad, I think that would be it in terms of GXP cruisers that are not Tier 7. Atlanta is not available for GXP anymore? Hmm. When did they change that? Hopefully this is not a colossal mistake that's going to get me dev struck. I mean, it's GK, right? So how bad could it be? <laughs> nothing. Literally nothing. Oh, you want to do it, Minnow. You do. You... Why am I spotted, though? Um... I think he's... Two, no, he's right there. He's just on the... Oh, gearing. Hello there. Hello there, little gearing. You have fucked up. You have not maybe realized it yet, but you have fucked up. You have, you're realizing it now, but it's too late. So have you, Minnow. You have really fucked up. You have fucked up even more than the gearing. Now Stalingrad will send you to Gulag. Just one more salvo, maybe. Well. Oh no, I fucking, uh, wow. British acceleration. Am I right? How ridiculous. He doesn't do anything except press X, and he just dodges the whole salvo. But not this one. Not this time, Minnow. Dodge that salvo. Oh, shit. I didn't think the GK was going to shoot at me. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yep. Well, that is what can happen. That is what can happen if you are a potato who underestimates the power of a GK's salvo against your flat broadside. That can happen. You gotta, you gotta be wary, though. It's a, it's a problem in these seas. You get a sudden case of potato-itis, and you're like, oh yeah, I, I'm safe to make this turn, but you're not. So you gotta, you always gotta guard against it, you know? It can happen to anybody. You think, okay, I'm doing a halfway decent job, but then you make one wrong turn, you lose half your HP. Can happen to anybody. You gotta, you gotta be smart. Breaking my back turret, how dare you. Actually, I think we'll go dark here for a second. Slow her down. I'm a little worried about these things. I want to see if Alaska will give a good angle. Hold your fire. Hold your fire. Yeah. Oh my god, he's turning right into those torps. Do I even need to shoot? Maybe a little bit. Hmm. Des Moines is a prime candidate. Not at that angle, though. Kronstadt is a... Bit worrying. Okay, dead Alaska? I think so. Okay, I was wondering if those things were going to shoot at me. Go dark, go dark, go dark. Please, Stalingrad, go dark. Okay, GK does not shoot. Beautiful. What the hell was that? Surely that was not GK. I think I gotta turn around and go this way. I wish, um...
Ban Nightbot? Is he still talking? I don't think he is. Shouldn't be appearing. Basically turned off everything that he could possibly do. He's just here for the giveaway later on this weekend. I guess it would just be easier to copy-paste the codes into the chat. I mean, you can only redeem one code per account, so if you got one from another CC and I pop one into the chat now, then you can't do anything with it. And if you win one time, then it's not like you can do it over and over again. Maybe that's the way to do it. There we go. Yeah, but is the GK going to be able to blap me? Maybe not. Oh, wait. Now we have the proper shell for this situation. That's right. Actually, I think this is the wrong shell now. I do need to be very careful careful of this GK. I think he doesn't have the range. All right, we'll switch back to the correct shell. HE shatters. Pathetic. Stalinchad does have cracked guns. You can... Uh, yeah, that's true. That's kind of why I've got Nightbot. I think I can just make it pick random winners of the giveaway. Radar? What is that? Is that Giuseppe? Is there something else here? It must be Giuseppe, I guess. I don't know why, but I never expect the radar. Yeah, Stalingrad's guns are cracked. We haven't seen a good example of that, I guess, in this match, but they are cracked. If I can get a halfway decent drop on this Giuseppe... Oh, shit. I forgot about that DD. I mean, there's a little hint of how cracked they are, I guess. Uh, I'm, st like, broadside to the GK. I don't know if he can shoot at me, though. Can he shoot at me? No. Island. I'm an island boy. Oh, dear. It's unfortunate. Plymouth? Plymouth has cracked guns. Why would you do this, Brutus? Why would you come over here, and then I go to pick you up, and you're like, oh, I'll lay down on the floor. All American ships are bad? Nah. 
Most American ships are very good. There's only a couple that are... What? What do... Oh, what do you get from the code? Santa containers. I got, like, a few level 1 containers and, like, three level 3s. All right, GK, now we meet on my terms. And you will die. Oh, no, I don't get to take it. Sad. Stalingrad, always, uh, not a lot of damage there, but satisfying nonetheless. Okay, anyway, uh, GX, what are the GXP cruisers? Nothing in recommended, okay. So we've got, Atlanta is still available for GXP. Is there anything else besides Atlanta and Stalingrad that are cruisers for GXP? Oh, there's Yahagi, I guess. That thing's all right. Hmm. Any German cruisers? I don't think so. Oh, wait. Odin? No, that's a battleship. Uh, Elbing, I guess. That's a cruiser. It's tier 8. Hmm. Bagration, Kutuzov. No Italians, of course. Hmm. Well, I don't know. I'd personally go with Azuma, but uh, if it's not, can't be a tier 7, then Atlanta or Stalingrad. Elbing, maybe. Elbing would be an interesting choice. Speaking of Azuma. Nah, Paolo's too much a DD. The whole idea is it goes out there and it torpedoes shit. The guns are not very good. Not very good. There's not a lot of choices, though, for non-Tier 7 GXP cruisers. You started at release, had 6,000 matches before COVID lockdown. And you have like 30,000 now? That's, that's a lot of playing in a short amount of time. It'd help if I press the right buttons. Hopefully it ends up being a good idea to have the AP loaded right off the bat. Usually a good idea. I think uh, I'm somewhere around 15 or 16,000 myself. For a second, I thought this was the Yoshino, and I hit triangle to switch to Torps. Or whatever the Xbox equivalent is. Okay. 
60% solo in every tier 7. T That's pretty good. That's pretty good, too. If you wanted a reason for why <laughs> why you should get a Zuma, uh, these guns are quite cracked in their own right. I don't think it has improved pen angles, maybe, but I don't think so. It's just got really good pen and good damage. Oh, shit. That is a Minnesota. And it had my broadside. Good thing it could not aim right. Otherwise, uh, I'd probably be dead. I could have made a really bad case for Azuma just now if that uh, Minnesota had had gotten his way. Oh, it did have improved pen angles, but when they buffed it, they removed them. Well, there's no problem with the AP, certainly. The HE is also very good. Probably end up having to shoot that here. I don't see any reason to push into the Minnesota, though. So we will not do that. And we will wait for this broadside that Atlantico is about to give. Uh, is that it? Is that all we get? He's Turning back in. Hmm. Probably will switch to the HE. Unless he's going to turn out again. Looks like he actually is. There we go. Mm, maybe we do have to shoot at the Minnesota? Hey, stop looking at me. Turn those turrets elsewhere. Good thing John Barr is not paying attention. Atlantico is. I think he's probably a little bit upset. He did take an awful lot of damage. The, where's the DD? Is it over there somewhere? Will we get spotted? Can those... Come on, a couple of them, right? Yeah. Three over penetrations. Gotta aim lower. Okay, he's such he's so flat broadside. What kind of things will you do, Azuma? What kind of gifts will you give us this Christmas? Four shatters. Don't back out too much, AL Chappie. Where's your radar? Shit. We're broadside to Jean Bar now. There we go. Okay, that that could have been way worse though. Could have been absolutely dead there from Jean Bar, but it's fine. Use this island turn. Hmm. How likely is it that Heisen would be looking over here if I go around this corner and fight the Jambar? 
How likely is it that he will shoot at me? Surely he is tunnel visioned on the teammate. Can we get Jambar guns? Can we get Jambar citadel? Maybe. I don't know if that's enough. Nope. Shatter. Maybe we continue forward. Get around him a little more. I think he's dead, though. Charles Martel's going to torpedo him, I guess. Yeah. Oh. Well, he took out Charles Martel. Traded himself. Heisen it shall be. Or Anchorage. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, no. Don't accelerate. There we go. It's better. Uh huh. Rear turret of justice. More justice. More justice and more honor. Damn it. Did Heisen? Oh, he did shoot, though. Yeah, but he's a Heisen, so he does no damage. And that just leaves... Oh, and that Minnesota way out there. Well, we'll go fight the Heisen. No, we won't. The Heisen is dead. So there's just the Minnesota all the way on the other side of the map. We're never going to get over there. We're never going to get to the other side of the map, Brutus. Oh, hello, Mr. Vegas. It's been a long time since I've seen you in the chat. That's a lot of that's a lot of talking. Guess we'll just sail so leisurely into the camp. Why you hate Vanguard? Why hate Vanguard? Vanguard is nice. It's a nice ship. The most buffed ship in the history of the game. Is that a rainbow? I think that is a rainbow. Do you have the same win rate when you're streaming versus when you're not? I I don't know. There's not a really good way to keep track of it in a session unless you want to count all the games you play. I am less distracted when I'm not streaming, so I probably play slightly better. Well, this was, aside from that 
Dev Strike against the Chapayev right in the beginning. This is a pretty boring game. Using Azerlain Shapayev is a criminal offense. You get tried for arson. You get a you get an arson prison sentence if you play that ship. Well, this is possibly I don't know, this this might take the cake for the most uninteresting, boring win of the entire stream. I don't know, though. There's been some other contenders. If I got Udachi from a crate, I probably wouldn't use it. I don't like it. I haven't played the Udachi in a long time. Apparently, the damage to the cruisers was enough to get me over 2k base XP. That's nice. What should I play next? I don't know. I'll be right back again, though. And we're back. All right. Uh, Kamikaze. Donskoy, Albemarle, or Vanguard? Well, Vanguard or Albemarle? Hmm. Hmm. Vanguard or Albemarle? Go with Albemarle. I don't know why I got Hot Rod. Oh, yeah, I do, because Albemarle does have radar. There is nothing more cute than when Brutus does a little stretch. It is the cutest thing. He's got a Christmas sweater now. He's not wearing it because he's a little bastard. But he does have a Christmas sweater, and it's very cute. It is a very cute Christmas sweater. He managed to get himself out of it, though, the other day, which was impressive. Usually he is clumsy as fuck. Uh, it's so cute. It's it's green and it's got candy canes and shit. And he doesn't mind it. I don't know how he managed to get himself out of it, though. It was impressive. Usually he can't navigate his way over the threshold of the door to go O-U-T without having to, to hop 
over it clumsily, so I don't know how he got out of his sweater. It's a mystery. Cat probably helped him. Nah, he would never let the cat help him. He would attack the cat. Shark? Hmm. Maybe I can provide radar coverage of the Charlie Camp. One time Brutus and my cat laid down next to each other on the couch and existed next to each other peacefully without incident. I, oh, another Jaeger. I really question the wisdom of this push by the Bismarck and the Georgia. But we'll see. But I do question the wisdom. Four sets of three, okay. Iowa. Hmm. If only these battleships were not in the cap. Then the DD might be in the cap. And he might be radared. Don't shoot me, Iowa. It's not necessary. I'm an Albemarle. This ship sucks. That's what everybody says. So there's no need to shoot it, even though it did just light a double perma fire. Right? That was perma, right? Yeah, it looks like it. Aw, oh, man. Veneto? Nope. Oh, Kuni Berti. Smoke screen is helpful. Hmm. Highly suspicious that we are spotted right now. Don't think that is the Kuniberti. Oh, no, it's not. It's the Benson. I am blind. That is what I was worried about. Thank God. I think that was not led right. Kill the Benson. All the DDs over here? Oh, too much lead? He does have a broken engine, I guess. Okay. And the... There's two other DDs here? That's pretty funny. You take this over Baltimore? I don't know about that. But the HE does hit pretty hard. Might even eat. 
be able to get an interesting angle on the Iowa. I don't know why the George is like, yeah, I should just push straight in. Maybe coming to this flank wasn't ideal either, but... I don't know, though. Veneto, we can farm him a little bit. All of the destroyers are here? What on... What the actual fuck are they doing? If I was on the red team and I saw the destroyers doing this and I had spawned over by the Bravo cap, I would be so tilted that four of the enemy destroyers went to this side and they haven't actually even taken the Charlie cap. I'd be a little bit tilted if I were on the red team. Actually, we'll probably put the guns this way and start turning this way. Damn it. Iowa Plain. Well, see, that's the thing that can happen sometimes, is you get citadeled from peculiar angles in this thing. One torp. And a flood. That's ideal. I think he's actually turning into the path of the second set. And that is a perma-flood. Dual-purpose torp action here, I think. Now he's not turning fully into the second set. Is he going to spot them, though, before they hit the Iowa with his plane? Because that's annoying. Can we shoot him without being spotted ourselves? Yes. No, not quite. Veneto is uh is finding out the Albemarle's fire chance is pretty good. Surely he's gonna turn. Hmm, Iowa though. Maybe I should have launched torps at him. I don't think either of these two really have anything to shoot at. Besides me, I'm rather hesitant to shoot at them. Well, maybe. Fuck it. Haha! Double strike? No. Oh, did I hit a DD? Oh, that's wonderful. I think I hit a DD over there. I don't think that was the Veneto, was it? I don't think it was. It looked like he had dodged all the torps. Is he even in my radar range, though? I can't really tell. Hmm. I don't think he is, though.
Did he go around the island? Surely not. No, okay, I didn't think so. This guy's probably fucking pissed. Am I dead? Yeah. That was not the right angle. This guy's probably pissed. All the fires that were lit on him. Oh, he just got DCP, though. Do we lose this game? I really hope not. Nah, they should be able to win it. Does the Veneto have improved pen angles? Or was I just not angled enough? Because I was, uh... I was thinking I was just not angled enough. And I mean, well, we can't actually see the Citadel on this thing because it is in battle, but... Meh. Wow, we've been going for four hours so far. I think I'll probably be wrapping it up soon, but I am going to stream again maybe tomorrow or Christmas Eve. Do two streams this weekend for the holidays. But I think, actually, I think we've hit the four hour mark. So I think I'm just going to go Charles Martel now and probably call it a day for the moment. But I'll return tomorrow or Sunday. And we'll do a little giveaway with some codes for some crates. Hmm. They do have improved pen angles. Does the Roma? Oh yeah, I usually do that at the end of the stream. Look at the wins and the losses. I had a couple of terrible ones recently. I think there was one where I had a 100% win rate though. Then there was one where I had a 43%. Uh, not ideal. If I stream tomorrow, I will stream at a time when MetaJerk is not streaming. Because I'll probably tune in to watch MetaJerk. What would I get for my first GXP ship? I don't know. Well, not only do they have crazy pen angles on the main battery, they've got, um... They've got stupid smoke-firing penalties. They're way too stealthy. Like 10 kilometers or something. Something outrageous. Maybe even sub-10 km, I can't remember. I don't want a spot with my face, though. Really don't. Yes, this will be the last game of this stream, but I'm either going to stream again tomorrow or on Christmas Eve. If I end up streaming either one of them, it'll probably be later in the day than earlier. I don't... Ooh. Uh, okay. So this is probably bad. Oh, well, it certainly could have been worse. Oh, 
I was so worried that that single shell was gonna like citadel me. Maybe don't DCP a fire from the Jam oh Jam bar. Well that's painful. Yes, quicker reload of the main battery. Fabulous. Fire on the Jean Bar. By hard. Hmm. I got the Bayard out of a Santa crate on PC. It's good. It's good shit. Had a barn burner of a game. Oh, too much lead. He's reversing. Yeah, you don't want to fuck around with Chuck. You don't want to fuck around with no Chuck AP. People don't give it the respect it deserves. That thing dead? Yeah. How? What the hell? I want to farm a Jean Bar and we've got enemy DDs in the base. I see it. Unfortunately, we have nothing to detect the enemy DDs. We've got Kansas and we've got Brandenburg. I don't know if Jean Bar is overrated, but it's not overpowered. And especially the way people play it like this. There's an exceptionally easy counter to this bow tank reverse nonsense. You just hit it with HE and it melts because it's got 32 millimeter plating. Uh, or you break its turrets and then you hit it with HE and it melts because it's got 32 millimeter plating. Can he shoot me? I don't think he can. Oh, I probably should shoot the DD, huh? Probably should. Oh, it's a Z39. Well, we know that thing is trash. You will not escape. The power of Charles Martel. Okay, well. Oh, another one. Z39B. Must have a... Oh my god. Lead your shells more. Must have a really high drop rate out of the Santa crates then? Oh no. Well, a Z39B wouldn't come out of the Santa crate. Stop maneuvering. Just let the shells hit you. Just let it happen. Oh my god. Stop with this insane throttle juking nonsense and die. 
Oh, wow. Okay, that sucked. But he's dead. How long? In, uh, I think I'm on four out of five on the last segment, so a couple, couple days? Two days? No, Jean Bar is well balanced. It's, I think, objective nonsense to call it overpowered. It's certainly strong, and most of that is down to the main battery reload booster. The reason Jean Bar has the reputation it has is because, generally speaking, battleship players suck, and they don't know what to do. All they do is they sit there and they bow tank and they reverse. And that's all the Jean Bar does on the red team, and they don't know how to deal with that. Here's here's a hint on how you deal with that, okay? Uh, this is going to sound crazy, I'm sure, but uh, battleships as a class, they do have an engine, uh, and they do have a rudder, uh, which you can use to move around the map. In fact, you can use the rudder so as to get all of your guns on target, you know, on occasion. And, uh, yeah. As we, uh, push straight into a Zeton. Might as well use maximum DPM. Try not to die to this Zeton. And have some torpedoes. Oh, Zeton's not shooting at me. It's nice. Widespreads. How good can Charles Martel AP be against a Zeton? Fairly decent. I hate you for dodging those torps, though. Are we dead? Aha! I can't believe I uh, didn't die there. That was a pretty amusing way to end that match. All right, how did we uh, do? Recent battles? Okay, four, five. So that's 21 games, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. What is that? Is that actually 16 out of 21? Hmm. I don't think I'm really responsible for that. Because that is 76% win rate. That's uh, that's pretty good. I don't think I can claim responsibility for that, though. I'm not sure that I was exactly the key factor in all of those victories, but uh, I'll take it, certainly. All the CCs are great. Well, I'm glad you think so. But I think uh, that'll be it for us today. I will uh, stream again at some point, either tomorrow or Sunday. So I'll see you all then, and I will have uh, some codes to give away for free Santa containers. So, yeah, 
I'll see you all then, and I'll probably see some of you in MetaJerk's chat tomorrow when I tune in for his stream. So, have a great weekend. Happy holidays, Merry Christmas and all that, and I will see you again soon. Goodbye for now.